Hello, hello, my amazing creative friends, Oksanta here again. Today I am showing you a clip of how I was working on my latest hibiscus fabric collection in Adobe Illustrator. These are vector patterns based on my hibiscus plants that are growing in my garden and I was inspired to use the Viva Magenta Pantone color of the year. So this is just a little experiment to kind of take you behind the scenes and quickly show you how I was working on these. I did not film the exact process how I drew the flowers, but I still decided to show you guys how I was approaching uh, working on the elements for uh, repeat patterns that are kind of like this, these little swirls. And uh, it took me a little while to draw them out, but I in the end was satisfied with the result. Well, here I kind of play around with the swirls, arrange all the elements, make them repeat, and I have been using my own system that I always use in Adobe Illustrator uh, for revector repeat pattern design. I am always testing my designs with a large circle that I delete later, later <laughs> uh, when I uh, create the designs so that I can uh, make sure that I have everything cropped correctly. Now I am working on the second pattern in this collection based on my first one. I kind of changed the colors to these pastel colors and made the second copy and pasted it in the back behind the original elements and also kind of uh, moved them around a little bit so that they create a different kind of effect for this pattern, but it was quick to create because I used my first um, pattern as inspiration. Now it was time to try something new. I copied some of the elements that I created for this design originally and I recolored them and my idea is to create uh, a more of a texture, the kind of a monochromatic Viva Magenta inspired texture with two uh, or three actually different uh, variations on the same color. I am arranging the elements and they will be overlapping so it will be a bit trickier to make sure that everything crops and aligns correctly in the end but I really like these kinds of texture designs so I went for it anyway. Here I am adding a background uh, swatch that will create this background, darker background for the flowers. And I keep aligning and aligning my flowers until I am satisfied. There's something almost like um, meditative in arranging these little elements for my uh, patterns. I am sure if uh, you created patterns before, you agree that it takes a while to tweak them and position them just right, but it does kind of create more, almost like a meditation. I make sure to copy everything in exact correct places so that the pattern will crop and repeat correctly. However, with these patterns, my tip is to be patient, do your best uh, in positioning your elements just right, crop them and then uh, put the swatch in the swatches uh, panel and then test them with a large circle like so, so that you can zoom in closely and actually see any mistakes. I did find some mistakes in this one, which is absolutely normal. There was a bit of a crop, so I fixed it and I tested it again at least three times and then it worked. Now I want to create a striped pattern for my little collection. And uh, the, I am kind of thinking of only four designs for now, but uh, one of them will be a little bit more geometric with the vertical stripes. I am using some, again, elements from my original uh, sketches and based on my original sketches and drawings and just copy them over into a new file and then start adjusting them 
uh, over and over so that they repeat just right and then move these um, groups of elements, the whole stripes, over to the side and copy them in the correct place so that they become a repeat pattern. The middle stripe I moved vertically a little bit and then copied it on top of itself so that the flowers are not in the exact same spot and that adds a little bit more interest to this whole um, uh, design. Then I was inspired by the little dots that I added to the petals of the hibiscus flower and now I am using the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator to create these little circles and then I'm adjusting manually uh, so that some of the circles are larger and some are smaller. By moving them again to the side and adjusting the position I was able to add a little bit more interest. I saved the file and now I'm going to crop it and uh, that will give me a swatch, a vectors pattern swatch that I will test out again with a large circle. I have actions created that uh, help me and I teach how to use them in my pattern it up online course as well as uh, you can download them there in case you will be wondering what I use to create these repeats quickly. After I created the collection, I uploaded it to my spoon flower shop and here are a few uh, looks at how it turned out. I am pretty satisfied with it. It was a fun, quick, creative project and this is not a whole collection yet, but a rather a small four pattern start uh, to this collection. Here is the final result and I am excited to see what else comes out of this pattern collection. I will share more updates on it as I uh, print the fabric, as I do uh, make projects with the fabric, so stay tuned. And please check out my free ebook where I teach you multiple tips on how to create many different designs based on the first single pattern. It's called Grow Your Portfolio uh, 15 times fa faster. A uh, free ebook at the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and also please subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any more videos coming up. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Grow, love and create. Bye!